welcome to this video which will basically show you how to update your um, graphic drivers uh, on an installation of Boot Camp running on your Mac. So I'm booting into Windows Vista here but it works pretty much the same with Windows XP. First thing you need to do is go down to your start menu right click on computer or my computer in Windows XP and then click properties. Here you can enter the device manager and in the device manager um, you will see your display adapters. Now if you click on display adapters you'll see that this um, graphics card has been detected as an ATI Mobility Radeon HD 2600XT. Now, there's a bit of a problem with this uh, because it's not the Mobility um, version at all. So the wrong driver is basically installed. Uh, by Bootcamp. And the interesting thing is that uh, prior to this recording, Bootcamp was recently updated. Um, now, originally, when it was shipped with Leopard, uh, the final version, um, it came with uh, driver version 8.390, um, which was kind of released on the 14th of the 6th, 2007. Now with the latest uh, bootcamp update, which I was hoping might actually fix this, it actually only updates it to version 8.450, uh, which is still last year's you know, production. It was updated on the 18th of the 12th, 07. So it's still not the right card and you'll still find vast improvements uh, if you install the correct driver. So the question now is how do you do that? Well, we're going to Internet Explorer and what I always do is just go into Google um, search for ATI drivers and uh, click on the first one there and here you've got to the drivers uh, download page then all you need to do is click on your version of this Windows which is Vista in my case um, we've got a Radeon and we've got a HD2600 um, series which is obviously that one Okay, so once you've selected that, click go. Okay, now it'll bring you to the Catalyst Driver page, um, which is the, well, they give the name Catalyst to uh, their display drivers for this particular series of cards. And um, basically, what you're looking for here is just the driver so you don't want the control center or the software suite um, because you won't be able to take advantage of this if you just click on display driver and I'll save that uh, just into my downloads and start downloading that now so while that's downloading just to recap we are downloading the drivers uh, for uh, the proper ATI Radeon HD2600 not the mobility version and this will greatly improve the performance of uh, your graphics card in your Mac. You'll see a fantastic improvement in um, games. Look at the um, there'll be less stuttering. You'll be able to put it on higher um, resolutions, higher quality settings, and it will run smooth more smoothly. It really is that that vast improvement. So now it's downloaded. Uh, we can run it, and all you need to do is click run. Okay. Okay, and install. There you go. Please go to all other applications. Let's come up with the installer. English next install. Okay. Um I'll go into custom. Analyzing the hardware. That's it. Next. Accept. So basically, we're just installing this uh, package we've just downloaded now. That's all we're doing. <coughs> so, installation complete. Finish. So that's it. It's installed the um, graphics card drivers. So, we've installed the drivers for the actual proper ATI Radeon HD 2600 Pro but it's still coming up in our display adapter as an ATI Mobility Radeon HD 2600 XT 
which we don't want. Now we have installed the drivers, they are on the computer. They are, you know, on our hard drive now, but we need to update these. So what you need to do is go on to display adapters in the device manager, right click on the uh, ATI mobility radio, and click update driver software. Then click on browse my computer for driver software. Then click let me pick a list of drivers on my computer. And this is where you, you can you can actually select the proper one. It'll come up with a list and you'll find that the list has the old ATI mobility radion driver from the previous version of boot camp and the new one which is in the latest update of boot camp. It keeps the it keeps the old driver on there too. Unfortunately, as I've already said, Bootcamp don't provide sufficient drivers then, you know, it isn't the ATI Mobility Radion, it's the ATI Proper Radion. It's not Mobility. You'll have much better performance by installing the correct driver. So click on Have Disk, and then you need to navigate to where the driver configuration file actually is. So click Browse, and if you go to your, you know, C drive, or whatever other letter you give it, the one where the OS is actually installed, click on ATI, then Support, then the next folder, <laughs> which has got a complicated name. Then packages, then drivers, then display, then alh underscore inf. Then you'll have this little file, which has got an icon like a little cog next to it. And it's an INF file. It's called CL underscore 61008 in this case. So if you click on that, click open, and then click OK, it'll come up with a list of all of ATI's supported uh, driver... Um, uh, drivers basically. So if we go down we should see the ATI Radeon HD 2600 Pro and sure enough there it is ATI Radeon HD 2600 Pro. So we click next. Is it saying that it is not recommended to install this uh, and it may cause problems? Well we know it's the right driver so click that yes you do want to continue. It will then install this uh, driver so it's just installing that now. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so the screen went black. It's come back and it says Windows is finished installing. As soon as you get close, it has now come up as the ATI Radeon HD 2600 Pro, which is the actual graphics card you've got. If we go into properties, we'll see that this driver was actually updated on the 28th of March 2008, much more recent. I mean, today's only the 1st of May. It's a much better driver, and you'll find performance increases straight away. I'd love to hear your uh, feedback on how this has improved your gaming performance on your iMac. Um, so, feel free to leave a comment, and uh, I'll be pleased to know how that's gone for you. So thanks very much, this is the end of my video, so hope you've uh, found it useful.